So this is April 1st. So hopefully nobody's lying to you today. But it is Saturday and um, it's Saturday night actually. It's what what time is it? It's 1040. So it's about time to go to sleep because I'm working tomorrow morning. But uh, I, I'm, I've started filming this update a little bit later. I was supposed to film it yesterday. But something like went on and I kind of forgot. <laughs> But I did start uh, stitching this one. This is just a reminder. This is, if you are not following me. Uh, last week I've decided to start a new one, another one, just because I can. So I started Joy Sunday cross stitch and this is Ember Light. Look at this beautiful, beautiful design. I have seen this stitched on a Russian website by a girl, the same kit. It is one of the most beautiful designs ever. She is all over this place, so she's already seeing the beautiful colors. But um, I've just started it last night. I think that I've made a pretty nice progress, considering that I still have, like, almost... Not almost. This week has not even started yet. Then I have, like, a full week to stitch this. Hopefully, I'll be able to see some colors... In some point, I'm thinking that the most I'll be able to see is like pinks. But uh, what I've done is I am starting this from this side. Plus, I am doing it this way. I'm going to show you on Saga. I've showed it to you last time on my last video. I am stitching it this way up just because it's more comfortable for me. And I don't have to, you know, like go all over this big area so what I've done is rotated my chart in Saga this way so I basically all my symbols are right and I just need to like go up plus uh, I always start from the bottom left side from this side I don't know why it's just my way of stitching it's much more comfortable for me this way I've tried stitching from this way from this way like from the right corner from the middle I just, for some reason I always always start from this by the way my first heaven and earth design I was stitching um, my oh my battery is low I was stitching it from a paper chart and I was stitching um, Asian fantasy you probably remember that one if you're not remembering it go to the beginning of my channel I am showing it to you then my finish my big beautiful finished hyid um, anyways I was stitching it from the upper left corner from this place and I don't know why I was like why I actually changed my whole stitching routine so basically I always all my project I always start from the left um, lower corner then this way if you're looking at this it's like a huge like burgundy tree that means it's like boring <laughs> I am dying to get to those beautiful colors, but because starting from this point is pretty, you know, monochrome, um, it tends to get a little too much overwhelming. That's what I ha remember having like a problem with on my last stitching experience with this project, but then I was stitching it from a printed canvas, on a printed canvas. And it was a little bit confusing, so I wasn't using Saga at all. This time I am using Saga, so let's just check before I show you the stitching. This is what I have stitched by now. Let's just get rid of this coloring. So, this is the amount of stitches I have stitched by now. I think that's a pretty good amount you know for like two days of stitching at least for me uh and how much have i stitched the 31st and the fourth and the fourth and the first um yes yeah, so i've stitched 775 crosses 0.69 percent stitch not that much but you know it's a good good way you know to go through a chart like using it week a week. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But this is what I've 
done. This is my stitching. Um, I'm stitching two threads, uh, two strands. And honestly, what, it depends what lighting you're looking at this, but let me just get a little closer to... Um, I don't really like when you can see that fabric behind. Uh, it tends to really annoy me. Um, but when you take a step back, it disappears. You don't see it. Uh, for some reason on camera, it's always, always, always much more obvious. So it's annoying. But, um, you know, it's just the way it is. I'm going to keep stitching it. I want to see the colors. Uh, it, this one was added to my stitching um, roulette. So it will be, you know, jumping once every while <laughs> so yeah so i added it to my roulette so this is going to be one of my um progresses pr projects that i will be working on using my roulette anyway <laughs> so um i'm having a little bit of a question about the organizers because um, usually when you get a Chinese kit, especially one this big, you usually get like this bag of threads that are like, I don't know, like extra, I guess. But in this kit, I didn't get any extra. And there are points where you have like, look, if there's only one. I mean, is it possible that you won't have that much to stitch? I mean, there's some yellow over here. And there's some yellow in the windows, so maybe we don't need as much. Hopefully this is not the same yellow. But um, I'm really hoping that I will not need that much yellow in this. Unless they just forgot to put in more thread. I don't know. I, I hope that I will have enough, unless I won't. <laughs> Anyways, I'll, I can always order more thread or just write to the seller. Hopefully, they will answer me. But I do, I do like the threads. They are a little too fluffy. They definitely are not high quality DMCs or something. But they're nice. They're okay. I guess I can work with them. Um, this is fourteen count. And what can I say? What else can I say? This project has, let's see how many colors. This project has 114 colors, which is way, sorry, my camera died. It didn't die. It actually starts to count back on me whenever I um, reach a certain number minutes wise anyways what was was i saying oh i didn't think that this project will have as much colors in it the first time and i actually forgot about it the second time as well but this actually has 114 colors which is a lot but it does create a beautiful design eventually so yeah so this is going to be very very nice looking by the way if i'll need more thread I, I can just order another set because it's not that expensive ordering them ordering ordering them yeah ordering them from um aliexpress so i will just order more threads if i need them hopefully i won't hopefully i really really do hope i won't okay anyways um i think that deny stitching is over and done with by the way i am look this is my little computer i need to buy a new one this one is like my age <laughs> well not it's not my age but still and i was watching some netflix so yeah nice <laughs> anyways uh let's just keep following this project this week you guys um can you tell me, is it a uh, interesting format for you? I mean, do you like watching, like, one project every week? Like, seeing it grow and stuff? I would like to hear from you. Like, I don't get that much comments on my videos. So, if you are watching and if you are liking, if you're a friend, please comment down below and tell me if this format is 
satisfying enough for you because if not i will try to add more projects uh even though i don't really want that right now i want to focus like a weekly project i want to focus on a weekly project i don't know what to say but um if it is interesting enough for you let me know um what would you like to see maybe there's something different maybe i should change the format i like i said i do like having this uh like week of stitching the same project because i can actually see a difference if i would have stitched this like for two days i would have just put this aside forgot about it for like two weeks or something and then this project or any other one will last for ages and this way i can just focus a full week on stitching the same thing not thinking about anything else knowing that next week roulette will choose something different for me let me know okay anyways i'll see you in a couple of seconds and we'll see where this thing grows today is july 7th it is friday and it's the end of the week the weekend i am on vacation from work because it's passover so we are in the midst in the beginning actually of our holidays great um not working for a week <laughs> yesterday or no last night last night i've made a live stream which was uh really strange because we has we have been experiencing some missile attacks so during my live stream uh if you haven't seen it go to my last live to watch it i've been doing this i've been doing by the way i've done my nails new nails look at this interesting isn't it how do you what do you think do you like <laughs> anyways um this uh this is what i've been doing it's been a while since i've done some paint by numbers so doing a live stream with paint by numbers or diamond painting which i haven't done in a while now but i just don't have the need to do it right now was nice but considering that it is um a bad time for you know for us for the last couple of days uh there has been some missile attacks. So during my live stream, it happened. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's this is not this video is not about that. I am kind of showing you my nails. Actually I'm watching them myself. <sighs> Anyways, let's go on to what this video is all about. So it's the end of the week. Today I will be changing my project for the next week stitching. By the way, I have to say huge, 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 huge thank you to one person that has um, made my life like a thousand times easier. Jessica, you probably know um, that I'm talking about you if you'll be watching this video. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart because Jessica has uh, sent me uh, three files that will make my life a lot easier at least for now two of them definitely will um, now I have a saga file for my new project uh, which is Venice from Lucas and the other one is the long dog one the pandemic one she found it oh my gosh I've been looking for that um, you know for that file for a while since I've started stitching it, uh, but I haven't found it. And I actually, uh, Jessica, so you know, I was in that group. I know about that group, but for some reason I didn't find it there. I was looking for it. Maybe I did something wrong with it. I have no idea. How did you manage to navigate through that group not being a Russian speaker? Or do you speak Russian? I don't know. If you do, so hi, привет. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you so, so much for the files. I really appreciate it. It will make my stitching Venice so much easier. I still need to figure out um, the whole thing with the threads um, because sometimes they do convert. Well, not sometimes. They usually do convert the numbers of the threads. Uh, so I need to check that out. But uh, Long Dog definitely will be easy 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 thing to do okay so 
I gave my thanks, Jessica. Thanks again. So let's go on. Uh, what have I been stitching this week? That was the Chinese, the amber light one. And I can definitely say that I've made a huge progress with that. One that I never would have made if I didn't do the whole roulette weekly project thing. So let's move on to that and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is what we have. This is what I have stitched. You know what? Um, now that I'm looking on camera, you can definitely see the transparency of the crosses. Um, I do prefer a smaller count fabric, so I won't be able to see the fabric behind. They say that sometimes after you wash your project, the fabric kind of shrinks. So you are not seeing that as much white as you do right now. But to be honest, in reality, I, it's not that noticeable. For some reason, on camera, it's much more obvious. So here are the crosses closely. You can see everything is straight. My needle is somewhere over here. Um, I'm not a crazy fan of the thread that um, Chinese kits give you. But they're pretty good. I mean, if they would have been less fluffy... I think that the coverage would have been worse but they're good they're okay um, I do prefer of course um, real thread and I'll just say it otherwise I mean not real thread but DMC's are look how matte looks on camera okay anyways back <laughs> anyways I do prefer DMC um, even Perry is a very good thread. So yeah, but I think that I've done a pretty good job with it this week. Um, it's a pretty big area stitched. Uh, I would have stitched more of it, but I kind of went to do some live streaming. So I have moved on to, um, I've moved on, moved on to paint by numbers. Okay, let me just figure out how I want to put this so my lamp won't be there okay so you guys uh let's start with like i said the thank you for this beauty this is long doll from pandemic and this this is the lucas venice one oh my god i am so excited about it i need to open it and figure out um the whole com you know how the saga file compares to the um, original chart, how it goes, um, hopefully it will be okay. But this is what I've been stitching this week. This is Amberlight. Look, 1.61% stitched, which is amazing progress for, like, a weekly stitching. I think if I would keep this up, it will be not that long before I finish it. Well, maybe long, but not too long. So, altogether, I've been stitching it from the 31st till today, oh, not today, yesterday, which was the 6th, and I have stitched 1,802 crosses, which is, like I said, a really good thing. It's a really good progress. Okay, so, um, this is basically all uh, about the organization. I haven't changed the organizers. I would um, like to order some organizers to do a change because to do a change to change this whole organization because I don't really like the organizers that this kit brings but um, for now I'm just going to keep it I'm not going to do anything because I don't want to order more stuff I have too many things that I don't you know I don't use anyways okay what we're going to do now is spin I wanted to say spin the bottle, <laughs> spin the roulette again. Let's see which project I will be stitching during this week. Uh, let's see if it won't be something that I have already stitched. That's really, really possible. But we are going to check this out. So let's just try and open, open roulette, which is, hey, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to try here this is this is just annoying but okay hopefully it won't be that noticeable so saga contains everything that i have added which is amber light of course and venice as well where's venice 
heard his venison amber light. What we're going to do, hey everybody, <laughs> what we're going to do is spin the roulette again, see what we have coming. Do you want me to do the myster mystery one? What I want to do the mystery one so I won't be like biased or something. Uh, how do I do that? Edit maybe. Let's edit. Yeah, no. Yes, no, no, it's not about edit. It's supposed to be somewhere. Oh, maybe here. Is it here? No, yes, no, yes. Where's the mystery mode? I totally forgot where it was. I think it was somewhere here. Um, it was supposed to be here. No, this is adding... Um... I don't remember. Where was that? This is dead, slow, normal. That's annoying. I don't remember how I done that. Oh. <coughs> I know. I know. I found it. There. Live. Um, there. <laughs> Mystery mode. We don't know what's going on. So let's just spin it and see what we will be stitching this week. No, 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 no. Okay, you know what? I want, I want the sound. Oh, no! I want the sound. Where's the sound? I want the sound. Because without the sound, it's not that interesting. Okay, so let's press it again. Does it give us sound? I think so. Okay. Sound. Something popped up. There. No sound. <laughs> Never mind. So we are spinning it, spinning it, spinning it. What will it be? I'm excited. What will it be? What will it be? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Be something new. Okay, it's ever flowering garden. This one will be a good progress for this week, I'm sure, because it's not that difficult to stitch. So we have ever flowering garden to stitch. I'm happy about that. Uh, by the way, Ever Flowering Garden, I did find a um, digital chart for that too. But you know what? I don't need it because I um, I prefer using the booklet. So um, I won't be showing it to you in this video. But next video will be a review of what I've been stitching before and the you know weekly updates thingy. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. I'll put this away. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, guys. I love you all. Um, join my lives during this week. I think I'll be making some of them. Uh, you should join my TikTok because on TikTok, it's easier to do a live stream. Uh, on YouTube, there's a problem when you do live or like post a video. You cannot put music in because of um, rights. And I don't know when it stopped. But on TikTok, you can. I can put music on. I can chat with you guys if you wish. I can just shut up and you can listen to music. So it's easier that way. Um, so if you like live streams, please join my TikTok channel. It's in the info box down below. And I would love to see you there. Really, it's really nice to chat there. Listening to music. Okay, I love you all. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. You have the links down below. To all my social media you can press the bell to be notified when my next video comes out and of course pr give me likes if you're watching this video even if you like kind of browsing through just press the like button it really helps me it's not that difficult for you and i will really really appreciate it write comments by the way love you bye bye